Well, the Yakama people for millennia since uh, time immemorial have managed their own lands to create the environmental options for foods and medicines and huckleberries and travel ways and commerce. They grew up within it and have that ecological knowledge and saw the benefit of using their land and being responsible to it and taking care of it so that it would take care of themselves. The approach we take to fisheries, uh, forestry health, the approach we take to climate change, the approach we take to developing energy. We keep the employment numbers going. Um, we keep the tribal businesses going. You know, there's, there's a balance to it. There's no playbook to this, to, to what we're doing. We're charging new territories. And we've been pretty successful at it. All of our homeland is very, very important to us. We don't have a lot of homeland, so every square inch is very important. Lone Tree and Kicket Island probably are two of the uh, best locations for us to be able to get our clams. We say that uh, when the tide's out, the table is set. And the previous owners sometimes kept us from digging uh, clams on those tide beds, but now that we own it, it's easier for us to get access for our tribal members. We're always looking for land purchases that um, give control to the nation when it comes to resources. So whether it's along rivers, areas where habitat can be protected. Certainly there's times we buy land that may not be commercially viable, but it still has a lot of importance to the Yakima Nation from a traditional standpoint. It's really all of the tribe's um, programs, enterprises coming together and working together, understanding what those needs are. In the big picture, we're a small tribe, but we uh, are very progressive. We're very forward thinking. We brought in uh, some of the best scientists in the Northwest uh, to work with us, uh, looking at climate change, not only from a scientific standpoint, but from an indigenous standpoint, to recognize that, okay, this elder here does not have a PhD in climate change, but they have a PhD that can never be taught in any university across the nation. We were the first tribe out of the 567 tribal nations to get our climate change plan, adaptation plan, approved by the federal government. So uh, we're leading the way, and you know we've been very, uh, very proud of what we've done. The Yakima Nation has always been a steward of its land, and it takes time and resources to do so. We are no different than our ancestors, where we use what we have, our lands and these blessings, to create a way of life for our people and our future.